Welcome to this rule reading on the situation around King Charles III coronation. I will apologise in advance for having a slightly scratchy voice. I came back from my trip to the UK, which was very enjoyable, with a, some, quite a bad cold on Saturday, and I'm just getting over it. So let me now bring up the runes that I would wish to share with you. I have the slide here. There we are. Let's just make that bigger so that it fits the screen. Okay. So what really brought the idea for a rune reading about in this instance? was actually a dream that I had in 2015, <clears throat> in which I witnessed uh, the then Prince Charles sitting in the coronation chair, and the crown was just touched upon his head and then lifted up. And for a brief moment, he continued to be sat in the chair and the crown was sort of nearby, I couldn't say exactly where. But then almost immediately, I came out of the dream. So I didn't actually see, you know, what the outcome was, whether the crown was going to be resituated. Although I didn't feel like that, I really felt that it indicated that the reign of King Charles III was likely to be quite a short one and for controversial reasons rather than for anything else, you know, not due to the fact that he is a mature man when he takes up the role and obviously lifespans do have their limits, but it was about something entirely different, I felt, as I came out of that dream. And I have had quite a few meaningful dreams most of them relate to myself or to those close to me. But there have been several that have been about public life and those have always been meaningful, sometimes in ways that I would think, well, how could that possibly be meaningful? But then it has been. So I wanted to use the runes to have a look at the situation. I stress not to do a reading for King Charles because I don't have permission to do that. But I was re just reading on the situation of the coronation and the going forwards with the kingship and that situation and what is around it, what is complicating it, etc. So I did my usual thing of choosing three rooms with my eyes closed and then choosing a further room to delineate the outcome. And before I continue, I will say that I'm very aware of the strong increase in opinion that the UK should become a republic eventually. And whilst I see that as something that is necessary, either that or a totally different kind of royal family, but a republic probably because that would give the opportunity to have an elected head of state, which I feel in modern times is something that we should move towards. But I see it as something that should take place very carefully with discussion over, over decades, if possible, to determine exactly what kind of republic we would want the UK to be, because not all republics are egalitarian or allow for, you know, allow for many people to become involved. To give an, an example, in the US, you have to be very, very wealthy to run for president. Uh, it, that isn't so in every republic. But I, I just feel that, you know, before the UK thinks of making such a move, they should go very carefully rather than slowly rather than thinking, you know, this is outdated, let's move on. Another part of me would feel very sorry to lose that thread of 
thread of history. So I do have, in a way, certainly logic on the side of a republic and a certain feeling and emotional connection on the side of monarchy. So that is where my bias is. So to come back to the runes, the central rune in the bottom row will always delineate the issue that's being inquired about. The issue that was being inquired about here was problems or complications around the coronation that you know, are greater than those that are in the background at the moment because you know, there's certain things being voiced and we know that they're there. I'm talking about those that would be different around that time or that there would be growth in. And to see Hagalas or Hagley was not exactly indicative of the situation being smooth because this does speak of difficulties. It speaks of barriers and boundaries and issues and problems. And it's always with this room that there is something material that is a problem. It's never just about the emotions or how people feel. And of course, with this kind of issue, we're talking about the constitution. We're not talking about anything else, but the actual kingship is represented on the right by Ingvi, also known as Ingvaz. And that is interesting because Ingvaz actually means the sun in waiting. And we also say when Ingvi represents a man, that this man in his life has had to wait a long time to take up his kingship. And in the case of King Charles, we mean this literally, but in the case of everyday average people, we're talking about maybe they've had a passion that they've not been able to pursue until they're older. Maybe they've trained for a career and they've not been able to get into the right position to really give their all in the way that they want to. All of these things are strongly in indicated by Ingvi. Another way that it will fit Prince Charles very, very well, King Charles very, very well, is the way that it will represent a man who has strong passions, who wants to help, who does things to help. And he's, has, he's definitely very passionate about the environment, has hobbies that he's very passionate about, for example, watercolour painting, uh, and the wanting to help bit. Although he is somebody with great privilege and in many ways insane wealth, he has also wanted to help. I personally know of a couple of people that were helped by the Prince's Trust when nothing and nobody else was available to help them. And I really feel that that you know, shows this wish to help, to be of service. And that is also shown very strongly by this room. Another factor that this room will delineate if it indicates a man in the presence of the life of somebody I'm reading for, it will be a man who in his younger day found it very difficult to commit in love. But when this kind of man reach, meets the right person, usually later in life, then he will commit absolutely. But until then, he will quite often gain a reputation as a breaker of hearts because he is nice to be with. And because of that, you know, because this is the kind of man that is nice to be with and he's friendly and open in that circumstance, then women will fall in love with him. But at the same time, even if he gives his commitment, unless he feels that absolutely, there's going to be a problem with it. And we all know what happened here, so I don't need to mention that. But the fact that we, this reading is purely focused on the problems, the issues, the barriers to be overcome, I would expect greater voice to be given to that side of him. 
as a reason why, you know, he sh as a people objecting in a way to him being king on the basis of the whole Diana thing, which, of course, it's a, an opinion that is as valid as any other, but it's only one part of the equation. But I would expect that voice to get stronger. The other voice that I feel will get stronger is his commitment to different causes. And whilst he has publicly stated that he fully understands he cannot be outspoken on these issues as king, I do wonder, looking at this reading, whether he has fully taken that on board, or rather fully taken on board, how that will leave him feeling that it, it is a sacrifice that he, he must make. Because in a way, the person that is king or queen subjugates their personhood to the role of king or queen. And whilst there are many privileges, that subjugation is part of the process. And I feel that it could well be of issue here. That's what I felt when I was holding the rune Ingvi. That was a strong impulse. But then there is also here yeah, the issue of moving across to Gyurv, Together. And the fact that we're talking from the perspective of problems puts a slightly different interpretation on it. This room will often show up in a reading when a person is signing for a mortgage, signing for a new property, moving in with somebody, taking a love relationship forwards in a new way committing to a new passion, committing to being principal of the tennis club, etc. There's a commitment to something new with this. And it's a commitment that is honestly and truthfully given with that full sense of honour that is implied within that. And this is showing a little bit that some of the commitment or some of the restriction that comes with that commitment is not going to sit so well or sit so comfortably as time goes forwards. I will also say that the Ingby man has usually got a very clear idea of the kind of contribution he wants to make. And we know that King Charles has mentioned that he wants to be a different kind of king. But coming back to Hagley in the middle, it raises the question of how, to what extent this will be allowed. And what I will say here is that I have a strong feeling that what will not be allowed with King Charles would be readily accepted with his son, Prince William. And that may just be a question of the time not being right. It may be the difference in the way that the two personalities are perceived. We don't know. It could be either. It could be a combination of both. But looking at this, we can also see very clearly here that there is a positive outcome because we've got Al, also known as Yara, also known as Yara, which speaks of good year, good harvest, peace and contentment going forwards and where there are problems, satisfactory solutions. So that is what is indicated. I do feel, looking at these rooms, and also with the dream, that it could be quite a big ask 
for King Charles to be able to settle happily into the role and to take it forwards. And it may even be with Gyurv on the left hand side here. It could even be that he is placed in a position where he is invited to relinquish the role of king. That is certainly possible with these influences. But there is an outcome indicated here that people could say they feel settled with. It may be that something radical takes place. Maybe Prince William might be made Prince Regent. I have absolutely no idea, but it is one of the possibilities that perhaps springs to mind. But it does indicate here that there we should hope for a better outcome after some upheaval. And that does not mean that I feel that King Charles would continue in the role for very long. And it may even be that the controversy reaches a peak and that it is around the time of the coronation or very, very soon after, that everything comes to a head and then something new has to settle in. And that is a positive thing as I see it. Because with the UK going through so much political upheaval and with that fitting into so many world issues, we don't really need major constitutional issues at the same time, even though it would take major constitutional issues to bring about the kind of long-term changes that many are hoping for. So these are my thoughts on the runes that I drew around Prince Ch King Charles III's coronation. And they, they are quite fascinating and intriguing. And I'm, you know, I'm pleased with what they show, but a little bit surprised at the strength of the problem that was delineated by Hagley, I have to say. But thank you for joining me for this reading. I post readings of this nature on public issues from time to time. I also post videos on my travels and sometimes on other spiritual matters that I feel inspired to speak about. So thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you again soon.